Hello, I'm Ty Baxo with Maxar Technologies, and it's my privilege to serve as General Manager of SpaceNet. I'm excited to be here today to share a bit of background information and some updates on future plans of this open innovation project. Although we frequently take for granted that maps are up to date and complete, this is often not the case. Online collaborative mapping platforms have bridged this gap over the past decade by harnessing the collective passion and talent of volunteer mappers. Natural disasters such as Hurricane Maria reinforce just how much time and effort it can take to update maps. And this information is needed quickly to support response efforts. Trends in machine learning, more specifically computer vision, inspired us to ask how automation might help. SpaceNet is a collaboration aimed to accelerate open source machine learning capabilities for geospatial uses. The project was founded by Incutel Labs Cosmic Works and Maxar Technologies in August 2016. After five years, leadership of the project was transitioned to Maxar in April of 2021. Over the years, SpaceNet matured into a collaboration with nine partner organizations as shown on this slide. From the beginning, there's been four main pillars for SpaceNet, labeled data sets, challenges, open algorithms, and evaluation metrics. This also gives you a sense of how a SpaceNet challenge works. First, a problem is identified, labeled training data sets, as well as overall evaluation metrics are created. Then the challenge can be launched in which public participation occurs where results are submitted to a leaderboard, they're evaluated, and the top algorithms are awarded a prize, and then we open source those algorithms for public use. SpaceNet datasets are hosted on AWS. Today, there's over 67,000 square kilometers of high resolution imagery, greater than 11 million building footprints, and 20,000 kilometers of road labels. To date, there's been seven SpaceNet challenges. So you can see on the left, the first SpaceNet challenge is focused on EO data. We then evolved expanded with geographic diversity. We added road labels. Uh, SpaceNet 4 included high off Nader data sets. We've continued to expand on road labels and including metrics that look at routing times and network completeness. SpaceNet 6 included multimodal data of both EO and SAR. And most recently, SpaceNet 7 included medium resolution imagery and building footprints. To give you more detail on this data, you can see on the left an example of high resolution building footprints, the medium resolution building footprints, which were included with planet imagery for SpaceNet 7. And then on the right, an example of road networks. We're excited to preview that SpaceNet 8 will launch in fall of 2021. Some of the topics of interest include multimodal data, environmental and economic monitoring, and we're focused on looking at model generalization and efficiency. We're still in the planning phases and developing the data sets for SpaceNet 8. This gives you a sense of some of the topics that are of interest. If you're interested to learn more and get involved, check out our website at spacenet.ai. You can also access the data sets through the AWS public data set. Follow us on Twitter and YouTube. Thank you, and I look forward to continuing the dialogue.